to our very first show of the year. How exciting. We are so thrilled to be back with you guys again this year. Uh, and we're so delighted that so many of you enjoyed tuning in last year. So we've got lots of awesome recipes to share with you this year. And yeah, we're very excited. And of course, I am joined by my beautiful mother. Hello. <laughs> Hi. 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 <laughs> um, and my mom, for those of you who maybe are joining us for the first time, uh, is not only the cutest chef in the world, um, she is a trained chef and also the best uh, you know, home cook, I think, of course, because I'm biased. <laughs> and she yeah. joins us and has all these amazing tips. So um, uh, definitely, definitely, we've got lots in store today, don't we? We're yes. We're making, what are we making? Can we're you tell making uh, We're making pudsi eel, one of our favorite uh, yes. Thai rice noodle dishes. Yes. And we're going to make the rice noodles from scratch. So we're going to do that. And then we're also going to chat about soy sauce because, I mean, there are lots of soy sauces, right, Mum? Yes. So many, but you don't need them all. We'll go through and, and tell you exactly what you should be prioritizing in your pantry. So anyway, let's get started on this on this show. Um, while you guys are here, we are live. So yes. if uh, you have any questions about what we're doing, if you think we're doing anything wrong, that's great. Type yes. us a comment and we'll um, get to it during the show and if we don't we'll get to it after the show as well so comment and question away tell us where you're watching from we love to know where you're watching from you know yes. there's people from that join us from New Jersey in the US there's people that join us yes. from Perth in Western Australia lots of Perth people tuning in today they were saying earlier on my Facebook page so let us know where you're from and say hi all right so first thing is we're going to make the noodles so the reason why I'm you know, making these fresh rice noodles is that it's one of those Asian ingredients that is never in the supermarket. It just, that fresh rice noodles is just not something you can find you know, very easily. So that's why we're going to make them from scratch so that you can give them a try at home. Um, and I've got in my little bowl here a mixture of rice flour and tapioca starch and then just a pinch of salt. And whisk that together. So the rice flour is what is sort of giving the noodle the flavor, I guess, and the base of the noodle. And the tapioca starch is going to help give us a little bit of chewiness because if it was just rice flour, it would yeah. sort of just crumble. And we need the tapioca starch to make it stretchy. Yeah. So that's what we're doing there. Yeah. And then now we're going to add in the water. So I'm starting off um, doing half cupfuls. So I'm going to do half a cup in there first. And do you want to give that a whisk for me, Mum? Yeah, so you get started on that. And we're just going to work this water in. And you are going to have to, I've given you some measurements on my website, so you can find this recipe on the website with the measurements. But you really are going to have to just do it a little bit by feel as well, because flour, um, different humidities, different weather patterns, you know, how old the flour is, all those things will, will affect how much moisture you need to put in here. But don't worry, I'll show you exactly the texture that you need. Yeah. So whisk it in. So we've done a cup so far of water. What do you think, Mum? Is it maybe, I think maybe just a little bit more. I'm going to turn this steamer up as well. Just a little bit more. A little Sit. bit more. Okay, yes. just okay. another Sit. quarter of a cup, I think. Yeah. yeah. So what you're looking for is the texture of like thin coconut cream. So this is not a batter. This is not a pancake batter. This is like a thin, it's almost, it's almost like milk really. Just yes. normal milk, regular mm -hmm. milk. Maybe slightly thicker than regular milk. Yeah. Is that all? Let's have a look. Can I have a look? There you go. So, yep. so you can see that that's really thin. I mean, that's yep. not even pouring cream consistency. That's that's quite thin. Yep. So we'll just leave that to the side for a minute. And how do we prepare these tins, Mum? Can you show everyone uh, what we do the here? The tin, you brush with the oil. Yeah. What kind of oil? Any oil? Uh, any any oil. Yeah. Vegetable oil, yeah. Just the brush. vegetable oil is better though without yes. too much. We don't want sesame oil that would flavor no. the noodle too no. much. So yeah. just the brush. Okay. And you pour in a little bit of that mixture. Yeah. Just not too thick. Just yeah, we definitely don't want it too thick, do no, we? So, so if we just add, 
and then if you just shake it around, see yep. how you've got these little spots here? Yep. If you just run your finger over, you don't want to pour too much yep. of the mixture in. Yep. So just break up those little bubbles as well. Yep. And then let me show you the setup for our for cooking our rice noodles. So I find the easiest way to do this is now I've got just happened to have rectangular sort of trays today, but if you had a round cake tin or something like that, that's fine yeah. as well. The key is to find a saucepan or a wok where you've got water underneath and then something that's the right size for you to sit the tray on the rim of your saucepan but the water shouldn't be touching the bottom of the tray, if you get what I mean. So you've got yeah. your tray, saucepan, water underneath, and then you want to be able to get yourself a lid on top. And that will steam away and make our noodles. So just while we're doing that, Mum, can you do another one for me, Mum? And I will see if we've got anyone that has any questions so far. Let's see. Taking a while to load. Can put another one? Yeah, yeah, let's do another one. All right, let's see if we've got any questions. So, uh, oh, we've got Karen Miller who's joining us from Atherton Tablelands, far north Queensland. Beautiful country up there. Yes, beautiful Lovely. Country, Queensland. Gabriel Rees from Melbourne is saying, loving your work and hints, that's very nice. Um, Okay, so Lavinia is saying, why do you pour a thin layer into the dish? What would happen if you did it a little thicker? Now, that's a really good question. So when the rice, these homemade rice noodles, if they're too thick, they tend to break apart uh, rather than um, being like a nice thin noodle. So they, they, if they're too thick, they, they easily break apart because we're going to stir fry these a bit later as well. So we want like a nice thin, thin rice noodle. Um, and let's see, what other questions do we have? Um, no other questions so far. Yeah. Okay, so it sounds good. All right, so let's keep going here. So we've, got, so we've got that cooking away nicely. And these will take three to four minutes. And what you're looking for is the whole tray should, bottom of the tray should go translucent. So you don't want to see, if you have a look in here, you can see that part of this is translucent but we've still got that white color here so that means that that rice flour hasn't cooked yet which means it will still taste like rice flour <laughs> which you don't want what you want it to taste like is a noodle and I'm actually gonna spin that around because it looks like that side is getting cooked faster than that side so we'll pop that back on all right we've got this other one ready to do it go which is good Let's see, who else we've got? We've got Maria watching from Melbourne. That's nice. Yes. Um, Carly's asking where we are. Carly, we're in Bangkok. In so Bangkok, yes. um, my lovely mum is from Thailand and um, we work out of Bangkok and we cook for you guys out of Bangkok. Yes. Uh, and we, we, love, we love being here. Yes. So, um, okay, so Raphael Faulkner is saying, are rice noodles okay for gluten-free? That's what's really cool about these noodles is that we're making them with rice flour and tapioca starch so no wheat flour mm -hmm. which means these yes. are totally gluten free so a really great noodle to make for if you've got anyone in the family who is gluten intolerant yes so there you go all right so let's let's have another look in here ah now that's looking really good so I can see that everything is looking translucent we'll pull that out yep there and you just want to brush the top of that with a little bit more oil yep And then now we're ready to cut and see. Yeah. It's the moment yeah. of truth. Yeah. I'll let you do the honors, Mum. <laughs> okay, so we want to cut um, the noodle. You know, what I like about making, well, the thing about making homemade noodles is you want people to know that they're homemade. So we don't want these to be exactly, you know, yeah. exactly perfect. We want them yeah. to be a little bit imperfect, don't we? And then you just... From starting from the bottom and then that will literally just pull off and there you go yep. you've got your lovely now the reason why I oiled the top of that was that these do can get a little sticky if they're not properly oiled yep. so we already had some oil on the bottom we oiled the top and now we yep. can just leave them leave them onto a tray yep. and so because these are fresh rice noodles they are sort of 
best made on the day that you're going to cook them, right, Mum? Yep. Yeah, so you can make them in the morning and then, you know, cover them with some cling film, keep them in the fridge, that's fine. They will last a couple of days in the fridge, um, but yeah, best to do it on the day that you're going to be eating them. Let's have a look. And I'll just turn this one over. So the mixture that I just made up earlier is going to make enough for a rather large um, stir fry, noodle stir fry for two. And um, we're going to get to that very shortly. Let's see if we've got any other questions. It's so lovely having so many of you guys join us and we just love being able to chat to you guys while we're doing this. So, um, you know, any questions at all that you've got, um, let's have a look. Oh, Brian wants to know what time is dinner <laughs> so he can book his flight. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, Brian, you've got to get here pretty quick, actually. I reckon, I reckon we're going to be done in about 20 or 30 minutes. Yeah. So, um, Okay, so Maz is asking, do you have to rinse the noodles with water before cooking? No. So no. because we're using a vegetable oil, yep. we would stir fry with this oil yes. anyway. Yep. Um, so no need to rinse them off before. Yep. Um, Let's see, anything else? Can you overcook the noodles? Lee, Kate, McDonald is asking, and that is such a good question. You really can. If you leave them for too long in here, um, the, the noodles will crack. <clears throat> yeah. So as soon as, you, as soon as you've seen that it's set, <clears throat> you really need to get that out um, and don't leave it in there for too long. So you can see it's only a few minutes, it takes a few minutes, but don't leave it in for too long because um, the noodles will crack. Looks great. Yep. And then we just cut those up. And you know, so if you get this little system going where you've got two trays going at once, um, you know, it doesn't take long for them to steam. Uh, it's not, it's not hugely laborious. So, and it's really worth it. I mean, the te it's just like, it's like when you go to the trouble of making a fresh pasta, you know, it really, it really just adds that extra, you know, extra flavor, extra freshness. And we think it's fun, don't we? <laughs> but we're, you know, we're, we're a bit food nerdy, but we think it's fun. Okay, so that's our noodles. And we've got some extras that we've made earlier, so we can make a nice big um, pile of Patsy Eel stir-fry noodles for you guys. Uh, but before we get into making the actual dish, I thought I would run through this soy sauce scenario. So I know it's confusing because you get to... If we pop that back over there, I reckon, Mum. And I'll get all these soy sauces out. So there are so, I mean, there are literally like dozens and dozens and dozens of soy sauces that you can choose from in your supermarket, in your Asian grocer. And what do we think, Mum? What, what's the soy sauce for Thai cooking? What would you use the most in your um, Thai cooking? This is the dark sweet soy and the light soy. Dark sweet soy and yes. light soy. Yes. So for Thai cooking, we, we generally use these sorts of soy sauces. Yes. So We've got a light soy sauce. Now, light soy sauce is um, confusing in that it's called light soy sauce. Uh, it's nothing to do with the sodium or with anything like that. Yep. The light actually refers to the color. So this yep. is a soy sauce that's lighter in color and it's actually saltier than yep. your dark soy sauce. Yep. So there you go. And light soy sauce is just general purpose Chinese soy sauce. If a Chinese recipe, recipe is calling for soy sauce, light soy sauce is actually technically the soy sauce that is generally going to be used. So that's your light soy sauce, which mm -hmm. that's also the soy sauce we use for Thai cooking. Yes. Yeah. So the other two for Thai cooking are, you know, sweet soy sauce and dark soy sauce. Yes. And they're both sort of very similar. You can choose to have um, one or both in your cupboard, uh, but the dark or the sweet soy sauce is mainly for colour. Yeah, for colour. Yeah. So these ones are less salty um, and they actually have a little bit of sugar or molasses added to them mm -hmm. um, and that's going to make them a little bit sweeter. These are the sorts of things that you want to use judiciously in your dishes because the sweetness can be overpowering or the molasses yes. flavour can be overpowering. And you'll see mm -hmm. when mum uses this later, she uses like the tiniest little drop. So sweet or dark soy sauce, that's the mm -hmm. other kind. So light and dark is what you need for Thai cooking. And then this one is probably one that you guys would have seen a lot of, which is um, you know a Japanese style soy sauce. 
Japanese soy sauce also comes in light, dark, and lots of different ones. But uh, for general purpose, Japanese soy sauce, um, you know, you're just looking for a, a naturally brewed. Uh, naturally brewed is, is great because it means it's been fermented and brewed without being chemically produced, um, which is a whole nother story. Oh my goodness, so much soy sauce <laughs> stuff. <laughs> but um, I find Japanese soy sauce a little bit sweeter than, and, than uh, Chinese light yes. soy sauce. So there you go. These are the main soy sauces that I keep in the cupboard. And that's it. I'll just have a light, dark, and a Japanese, and mm -hmm. and we're all good. And let me see after all of that soy sauce talk whether we have any any questions. De Debbie's asking. I thought I saw you use a thick soy sauce once. That's right, Debbie. So the dark or sweet soy sauce is is a lot thicker. I'll show you. So yep. let's yeah, yeah. Let's pour it out, Mum. Let's see. So you'll see. This is it's a so it's sweet. like a syrup. Yep. This is the dark or the sweet soy sauce. Yep. And then the light soy sauce is yeah. very thin. Mm -hmm. So so you see you've got that sort of almost yep. a thin honey consistency mm -hmm. for that one. Um, all right, so we'll see if we've got any other soy sauce questions before we get to making our pad thai. Um, oh, so June's asking, what's the difference between pad si il and pad thai? Oh, okay. That's for you. Yes. You answer that one. <laughs> no, pad, pad si il is thai, so that, uh, thai, little bit of Chinese. Yeah. But pad thai is just thai yeah. style noodle, pad mm. thai. And the pad si il, because si il means... Mean, Soy sauce. Soy sauce, yes. Yeah. So pati il just means soy sauce stir fry. Yes. And so it's a much simpler, only has like a couple of soy sauce um, uh, ingredients. And then pad thai is um, more of like a sweet sour, a sweet you know, sour. has a lot more complexity in the sauce. So just slightly different. And the pad si il is usually made with fresh rice noodles, whereas yes. pad thai is usually made with the dry rice stick noodles. Yes. So there you go. All right, well, let's get on to cooking because the sooner we cook, the sooner I can eat. <laughs> Which is good. All right, so let's get you all set up to do, to get this cooked, Mum. I'll get you the wok. Marinate the chicken. Oh, yes, we're going to marinate the chicken. All right, yes. well, I'll do this, and you grab the chicken bits and pieces. Okay. That chicken. All right, so what are, you, what are you going to do? What are you, what are you doing with the chicken? Uh, first, we've got... Um, we got uh, sesame oil. S sesame oil. So, the sesame oil isn't a traditional ingredient in um, a pad thai eel, but we we like it because it adds a little bit of smokiness that you don't often get. I mean, when when this is done on the street in Thailand, it's a really well seasoned wok. It's you know um, you get lots of that smoky flavour because of the high heat. Sometimes you don't get that at home, even just because the heat levels at home are, are a lot lower. So we add the sesame oil to give it a little bit of that toasty smokiness. Yes. And then light soy. Yep. So this one. This one. Yep. Uh, yeah. Let's put just it in there. Put a And this is just to sort of add a little bit extra flavour to yeah. our chicken, right? Yeah. And then you've got your white pepper. White pepper. So why do you use white pepper for this one, Mum? Oh, uh, we don't use bla uh, black pepper. Okay. Always oh, white. white. Because so flavour is different. Yeah. Because a black, dark or black one is more strong in flavour. Mm. So uh, this that white one is all for the, you know, the dark. I can smell, smell it already. I like yes. it. Yeah. Yes. So the dark, the dark pepper is, is the flavour is too strong. Yeah, too saying? strong. Yeah, okay. yeah. But do for the stir fry. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. So that's our chicken done. Yeah. Uh, and now we're ready to cook, I guess. Yes. All right. So let's get. Um, let's, I'll move some. So you need you need the you need this. Which soy sauce do you need? This one. Yeah, that that, that the sweet, sweet one. one. Yeah, sweet okay. one. Yeah. So I'll put this away for you. Take that. Oh. Okay. So I'll turn this on for you. Yeah. Now um, I'm sure, and I haven't looked yet. 
I'm sure that someone might be asking us why we've got our wok set up yeah, like we've this. We've got some oil, this one. Yeah, that's the oil. We use this one. Yeah. Okay. Just drop it, not, not too much. Just drop. Yeah. This oil, not, not, not much. Okay. So a little bit of oil, and then, yes. then what? And the garlic. Nice. Now, the reason we have our wok set up like this today, guys, is because um, this is one of my seasoned woks, and it has a round bottom, which means it won't sit flat onto an electric stove top. Chicken. Chicken. Um, so it needs that gas flame. So this is just one of those camper, like, gas flame things um, that we've got set up so we can use, use this type of wok. Oh, it smells so good yes. already. Yum. The color start to change the color, the chicken. Now, let's see if we've got any other questions. Okay, so Cherie's asking for um, the brand of sweet and dark soy sauce. So our brands are going to be different because we're in Bangkok. So these are very local Thai Asian brands. Um, but the most important thing about getting your dark um, soy sauce or your light soy sauce elsewhere is to find a brand that you like and then stick with it because different brands will have different levels of saltiness or sweetness so once you get to know a brand that you like um, you will I guess okay. figure out what you need to do for the quantities so now that uh, garlic yeah so that's just like a just Asian vegetable yeah. any Asian what can you use any Asian green vegetable yeah any green that is eel we can always use that Mm -hmm. Let's see. Okay. So someone's asking, is there sesame oil in the wok too? No, we just use a regular vegetable oil. Yeah. Because we don't want the sesame to take over no. in the flavour. So the flavour of this, the flavour of the pad seal should be very much about like the um, the rice noodle and huh? the nice yep. sort of dark soy sauce. Yep. Okay, now, we, now what are we doing? Oh, wait, wait, wait. So show everyone what you did in the wok here, Mum. Oh. So you moved everything around. Yes. Do you, want, do you want a little bit more oil? I just need it. Just need it. So move everything to the side yes. and then put some oil in there and then add your egg in. Yep. The egg in. Egg in? Yep. There you go. Then you wait till the egg is cooked, right? That's it. You can see that. Right. Ah, and so you push it all out yes, to the yes, side. Yes, to the side, to the way you cook quicker. Yeah, like that. Mm. Okay. It's looking good already. So you can see the egg is starting to cook. It's looking right? good. So you just put together. Uh huh. Like this, and you put some noodles. Okay, so you want these noodles in there yep. now? Yep. Okay. Ooh, that looks good. Is that enough noodle? A bit more? Yeah. One more. Put one yeah. in there. Okay, and now what? So now, now we've got that. our dark soy, which is that soy that has a little bit of sweetness to it. And you tell me how much, Mum. Yeah. Okay. A little bit more. A little bit more. Yeah. Okay, that's enough. Just a little one too dark, just, just uh, you know, colour. Yeah. Ah, yum, that looks really good. Then you get try to the to the make sure the colour they cover the so the, the noodle, you know? Okay. So you it just want to stir, together. stir fry everything until it's all a nice colour. Yeah, do they come together, you see? Oh, those noodles look so good, Mum. Yeah. That's really exciting. Now, did you want a little bit of, I know you like to add just a little bit of sugar. A little bit of sugar okay. and a little bit of um, vinegar. Okay, a little bit of sugar. Pasta. And just a little bit of white vinegar. So this is the other flavour that's quite important in a pad thai, is you want a little bit of yes, sour vinegar flavour. Yeah. And then a little bit, did you want some more? A little bit white pepper. White pepper. Okay. okay. So you have to get that color? Yeah, that looks That's lovely. It. Yum, it smells really good too. All right, I'm gonna get rid of this. Yep. You can see all the color. That's beautiful. Color. Yeah. Okay. And so we can see with our fresh rice noodles, you know, they, they look nice and chewy and yep. really good texture. Yep. I'm going to get um, our serving plate plates ready. You tell me when you're ready. Yeah, you're ready now. 
Uh, that's how the color for the pot. We don't want it too dark, you know. No. So the no color. Okay. Ooh, that was good. Okay. Well, you. So if you serve that up for me, Mum, and I'll check if we've got any last minute questions. Um, okay, so this is a good question. Glennis is asking, is it the same as Kekap Manis? Um, so Kekap Manis is simply the Indonesian version of dark sweet soy sauce. Yep. I find um, that one is slightly sweeter than some of these Chinese or, or Thai brands, um, but totally you can use Kekap Manis in this recipe. Um, that's, that it's exactly the type of soy sauce that, that this is, dark and sweet. So there you go. Um, let's see. Is that regular, is that Chinese white vinegar or just regular vinegar? Just regular white vinegar is, is, is what we're using, Kerry. So um, no need to go and get a special Chinese one or anything like that. Um, let's see, any others? Any last minute questions? Because we're, once I start eating, I'm not answering any more questions. <laughs> no, we'll come back and answer more of your questions after the show. So, And there you go, guys. So this is... My mum's amazingly delicious, yep. beautiful padsi eel noodles with fresh rice. And now, this is important, so tell yes. everyone what this is. This go with the uh, padsi eel, mm -hmm. uh, vinegar, and, uh, and uh, red chilli. So it's just no white, chili. white vinegar again white vinegar. and chilli. And you so need that, this is the, the condiment yes, that you put the on there. To go with and then you, so I'm going to put some on mine, so yes. I, want, I want quite a bit of that. And uh, Chili and then powder. So guys, you can find this recipe on my website. Um, uh, you can also find loads more recipes and lots of inspiration on my Instagram account, um, which is Marion's Kitchen. And yeah, we hope to see you next week. I am going to have some noodles now because it smells so good. Um, but join us, we're here every week uh, and we love to see you guys. Um, so yeah, yeah, happy eating, everyone. <laughs> see you. That's how they eat, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mmm, that's so good, Mum. Yeah. Mmm. Rice noodle was amazing. Yeah. Yum. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. Nice. No, it smells nice, too, didn't it? Mm. Yeah. At least, easy to make.